Um, I'm back and I wanted to do a really quick video of my February favorites. Um, I want to make this really quick, as quick as possible, and I'm going to just jump right in. First off, you know that I talked about um, my acne. Well, I've cleared up quite a bit. Now, I have been sick, and while you're sick, you're laying in bed, you're not taking care of your skin like you should, and you're stressed out as well. So, let me reach for the products that I love. I have been use, using Evening Primrose Oil I got from GNC. And Evening Primrose Oil helps with your skin and helps with uh, hormonal balance. Then, I did a haul video, and this was um, the three-part system of Acne.org, and it's the cleanser and uh, the moisturizer and the treatment cream, and it's just worked absolutely, you know, amazing for me. It really has. Um, I, I, I feel like I'm clearing up, and when I did start to break out again, it kind of, you know, stopped it in its tracks. So, so there's that, and then I like to use you know, natural products when I can. And I've been using this body wash by Nature's Gate and the uh, fragrance of pomegranate and sunflower. And it's sulfate free and it has a lot of natural ingredients and it really hydrates your skin and it smells, it smells really good. And along with that, I have this um, moisturizer and pomegranate acai. Um, it's a super, super fruit formula, nourish, nourishes naturally. It has a lot of, uh, it's paraben uh, flolate, well, I don't know if I said that right, Flop, phthalate, phthalate 3, free, <laughs> no animal ingredients, no animal testing, pH balanced biodegradable. So um, I really like those. They smell really, really good and kind of hung up on things that smell great. Speaking of which, I just ran out of my favorite perfume and my husband got me this for Valentine's Day. It's Coach Poppy and um, I've been wearing this for a while. I have a few other perfumes that I love, and the reason I wear this so much is because this is his favorite on me, so, and that's why he got me another bottle. So there's that. And then for my hair, let me grab these really quick. I use this um, L'Oreal Ever Cream Sulfate Free Intense Nourishing Shampoo, and you want to try to use sulfate free. Um, there's a lot of sulfate free shampoos and hair products out there. And this one just smells really good. It's accessible. You can get it at the drugstore. So I just love the way it smells. My hair, um, the condition of my hair has improved a lot. So I really like that. And then this Triple Moisture Deep Recovery Mask by Neutrogena. It smells like uh, green apples. And I really love that for a deep conditioning mask. Um, my hair is getting really longer and it's really the healthiest that it's been since I can remember. Um, and then for dry shampoo, because I, I don't think it's uh, really good for, I have, I have oily, an oily scalp, so um, I like to use dry shampoo. You can use cornstarch, corn you can use any kind of um, dry shampoo. I really like the one, the way this smells. I've tried others. I like the Pst uh, brand also, and I, you can even, my mom, back in her day, she used cornstarch, but um, it's better just to do this and, and you just spray it in your hair. This, oh, sorry, this is the Got To Be Rockin' Forever uh, Style Stay Encore Fresh Dry Shampoo. And it smells really good. It has a lemony smell. It reminds me of the Oscar Blondie Dry Shampoo. So that's really great. What else did I bring? By the way, while I'm talking about it, let me talk about two products that I do not like. This CeraVe. This is the AM. It's supposed to be dermatologist recommended. Well, I've been to many different dermatologists and heard many different things, so this is one dermatologist's recommendation. It broke me out. I uh, heard a review from, uh, who is it, um, Bentley Blonde. She called it pizza, pizza face in a bottle or something like that, and that's absolutely true. It just, it broke me out and it took me, it takes me forever to clear back up. So there's that. Oh, by the way. Well, let me go back to what I, I don't like. And the other product I don't like is the Rimmel Fix and Perfect Pro Primer. It is not going to adhere. If you have dry skin, maybe, but I have oily skin, and I think anybody with normal to oily to combination skin, this is not going to work for them because it is so oily. And it's, um, I believe, let's see, 
I don't see silicone in here, but for some reason it feels like a silicone primer. It just, anything that I put on it, no matter how matte the foundation, just slips right off this. Don't want it. And back to what I found, uh, my other favorites, is Urban Decay's All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray. You just, after you do your makeup, you just go in an X. You don't need a lot. And, um... And this helps. And the, this is oil-free, paraben-free, temp temperature-controlled technology. Um, I may have talked about this before, but I really like this a lot. And uh, let's see, favorite products. Well, I have a lot of favorite makeup products. Oh, Makeup Forever's Matte Velvet Plus. I love this foundation. I'm really picky about foundations. This is my favorite high-end. If you have oily combination skin, it's like it's like velvet. Just like just it as it says. And when I'm, you know, I this is expensive, so I don't want to use this every day, you know. Uh, so my other uh, foundation I go to is Revlon Color Stay. Everyone knows about it. Everyone knows it's pretty awesome. Um, as for favorite, let's see. What else is my favorite product? I have everything spread out in front of me, by the way. I have like um, a big vanity uh, setup, so it's like a big hot mess. I don't know about other makeup artists, but I just cannot seem to stay organized with my makeup. Um, like I said, I really like this. And, oh, this is always my favorite product, the Saint Tropez um, Self Tanning. It's spring. Uh, it's getting ready to be spring. I know we're all ready for the warm weather. Don't tan your skin. Do not tan your skin. It is so bad for you. Skin cancer is very real. And if you want a bronze color, this has green pigments in it. And the green pigments cancel out the orange. And if you don't like that smell that other self-tanners have, this doesn't have that. This has a very light, um, pretty pretty decent smell. And then for a bronzing, this is just a bronzer, it's not a self-tanner, for your body. It's Laura Geller's Baked Body, Bro Baked body Frosting All Over Bronzer. And this is in Honey Glow, and it comes like this with a big poof. And I like to wash this out, even though I don't break out on my, on my body. I like to keep that clean as well. So, spring and summer, um, I start to step it up with the with the glows, with the tanning. But I d do not go tanning. So, another product that I really love is my gel eyeliner. I was buying Bobbi Brown, and Bobbi Brown is really expensive, and this has a creamy, um, smooth. There's just a complete dupe of of the Bobbi Brown gel liner. It's L'Oreal's Infallible Black Gel Liner, and I really love it. Um, so. I could go on. I have tons of favorites um, for this month, but no, I, no, I could not go on. Those are my favorites. Those are the ones I've been rigid with. Is everything else is just kind of like I like. I like the product. So um, anyway, I hope you uh, got some ideas um, from that and got a little bit of information from the products. Um, once again, I might have spoken too quickly. This is um, acne.org this right here um, is the brand. Um, I don't know, it's kind of a funny name, but I really, really am enjoying it. And so, there you go. Um, those are my favorites for February. And um, anyway, I hope you enjoy this video. See you later. Bye-bye.